Auntie got her hair done. You can't tell me nothing. <laughs> Hello my loves, Tony here from TL Yarn Crafts and welcome back to my channel. After the last video I did reviewing yarns from Hobie, y'all asked specifically about one of their newer collections called Friends. And I thought to myself, you give the people what they want. So here it is, a quick and dirty review of the yarns within Hobie's Friend collection. Friends? Friends? So here it is, a quick and dirty review of Friends from Hobie. Now if you're excited for this review, go ahead and like this video. And if you are still traumatized from season three of Love is Blind, honey, go ahead and subscribe because I am right there with you. Now, before we jump into the video, of course, we have to give some love to our cup of caffeine sponsor. It's been a coffee all day kind of week over here. So I just got a refill and I'm so ready for this. And this cup is staying full thanks to today's cup of caffeine sponsor, who is actually one of our most recent coffee monthly sponsors. And her name is Kimmy. And when donating, Kimmy said, hello, you absolutely gorgeous soul. Y'all are, y'all are too nice to me first off. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna start over. I'm gonna start over. So Kimmy said, hello, you absolutely gorgeous soul. You lighten my day just to see your beautiful face and your infectious smile and that hair. I mean, yeah. Okay. Oh my God. Anyway, enough about me. Just kidding. I'm 69 and a lifetime crocheter. Is that a word? But I was blind to all of this glory until I met you. Miss Kimmy, come on this journey with me, darling. I am so grateful that I have anything to pass on to somebody who's been crocheting for 69 years. It's an absolute honor to even share this space with you truly. Now, if you like my content and want to support my channel, buy me a coffee. Who knows? I might shout you out my next video. Now let's talk friends. So according to their website, Hobie's friends collection combines luxury fibers with competitive prices all in a set of bases that are interchangeable between each other and by that it means theoretically you could match colors across bases so for example color 117 looks about the same across all of the bases this is color 70 of the extra fine merino and it looks very much like the color 70 from wool so you could theoretically use them together use them interchangeably whatever you want to do if that's something that's important to you looks like this yarn can do it. Speaking of bases, there are seven different bases within the Friends collection, including cotton in fingering, sport, and DK, a wool that doesn't know if it wants to be DK or worsted, a DK weight merino wool, and a lace mohair silk wool blend. Now let's take a closer look at each one. Hey loves, voiceover Tony here. Unfortunately, there were some technical difficulties and part of the video showing some of these swatches did not save. I am convinced that the universe does not want me to be great. So I'm gonna do the next couple segments with just voiceover, but I promise you Acam Tony and her beautiful hair will be back in just a moment. I was sent a massive box of cotton 8.4, which is fingering weight and 100% cotton. Each 50 gram skein holds 174 yards and it's gonna cost you $2.55 each, which is pretty reasonable all things considered. Now, one of the biggest selling points for me is that you get to choose from 100 different colors. Yes, babes, you heard me right. 100 different colors of this gorgeous fingering weight cotton yarn. Each one is highly saturated and even throughout the skein. Now I did do a quick color comparison between the yarns in person and what I'm seeing on the screen. You know, they say that the colors sometimes will vary slightly. I was surprised at how close of a match they are. So you can feel confident that what you see online is what you're getting in the mail. I took a few notes on Cotton 8.4 while I was swatching, and one of the first things that I wrote down is how much I love that quick start tab. A lot more cotton yarns are starting to have this tab that is on the end that comes from the center of the skein, and it allows you to get started with your project without having to dig through the middle of the skein to find the end. That's how you end up with yarn barf, and it just does not get your project off on a good footing. So I really love that quick start tab. Also, the yarn itself feeds very smoothly from the ball. I didn't have any knots or tangles, and as I was crocheting, very rarely did I have to tug the yarn out of the skein to actually work with it. It kind of moved along with me through all of my stitches, which was primo, fantastic. This yarn has a very soft feel. It is not stiff. It is not scratchy like a kitchen cotton. It's really soft and you can tell that it has been thoughtfully manufactured and I like that. So I do wonder how it's gonna feel at different weights. I only had a chance to try the fingering weight, but if it's this soft at the sport weight and the DK, this could easily become one of my go-to cotton yarns. Yarns. The finished fabric is equally soft to the yarn in the ball and how it felt when I was working on it. I absolutely love how it feels. My only frustration with this yarn is the care instructions. It says that it can be machine washed, but it does not recommend it be dried, which I'm like, cotton can't go in the dryer? Like, what are we talking about? So my guess is probably the colors would fade or maybe you'd have like some shrinking issues. I'm not sure. But either way, if it's cotton, for me, it's going in the dryer and we'll sort that out later. Moving on to the wool, friends, wool is, you guessed it, 
100% wool. The 50 gram skeins give you 109 yards at $5.40 each and comes in 50 different colors. Looking at this price, the yarn is on par with other wool yarns on the market. It is a smidge cheaper than some of the bigger yarn brands, which is a big selling point for me. Why not have some economical options, you know? Now there does seem to be a discrepancy on the weight of this yarn. The skein says it's a category four worsted, but the website says it's a category three DK. I'm hoping this is just a misprint though, because at 109 yards per 50 grams or 218 yards per 100 grams, I get why there's some confusion. It's the same issue with Cascade 220, of course, in that it straddles that line between DK and worsted. My personal opinion, it's a worsted. You may want to get a skein and try it yourself though. The color range is impressive considering that's the main selling point for this yarn. You're not getting anything innovative here though, but you are getting lots of options to match your projects. All of the colors are solid and even throughout the skein, and this yarn is hand wash only unless you want your project to shrink and felt. As far as the notes I took while I was swatching, I did note that this yarn is light, springy, and spongy, just like you would come to expect from 100% wool. That's just natural characteristics of the fiber, and you definitely get that here as well. Another natural characteristic of 100% wool is that it can feel a little bit rough, and if you've got some sensitivities, that is still going to be the case here. I did find that it didn't feel quite as rough while I was stitching with it, and my guess is once you wear it a few times and wash it, it'll feel even less rough. It'll just get super soft over time. You get a medium stitch definition here. You can certainly see the stitches, but there's a nice woolly halo over everything. And I kind of love that, but it's not for everyone. So I get it. If you're not a woolly halo person, skip this yarn. But if you want that handmade feel, go for it. Next, I tried the mercerized cotton. Now, if you're not familiar already, mercerization is a treatment that's often given to cellulose fibers like cotton or flax. When mercerized, a yarn is going to be much better at taking and holding on to the dye. So not only will you be able to get a richer color, but it's going to be color fast and not fade nearly as quickly as traditional cottons. Mercerization also gives you a yarn that is stronger, less prone to shrinkage, and it gives you a nice sheen. Friends Mercerized Cotton gives you about the same specs as the 8.4 cotton. You get 174 yards in a 50 gram ball and it is 100% cotton. But the Mercerized Cotton is $3.75 a ball, slightly more because of the extra processing, so that's to be expected. The only real downside that I'm seeing so far is that the Mercerized Cotton only comes in 30 colors, so there's a big discrepancy between the 8.4 Cotton and the Mercerized. Now, fingering weight Mercerized Cotton is actually pretty tricky to find. I was only able to find one other product similar to this, and it only comes in 25 gram balls, and they cost $3.99 a piece. So this is kind of a steal compared to what else is available on the market. Then it was time for a little swatchy swatching, and the Mercerized Cotton also has that easy start tab, which is perfect. I just love not having to deal with yarn barf. If they could just do that on all yarns, that would be fantastic. The Mercerized Cotton also feeds super smooth out of the skein. I had no issues with knots or tangles. I will say if you're concerned about the light sheen that's on Mercerized Cotton, it becomes less apparent once you're actually stitching with it. Now I haven't worked with Mercerized Cotton too much, but my little brain is deducing that the brighter the color, the brighter the sheen is going to look. So if you want a little less sheen, go darker. If you're not as familiar with Mercerized Cotton at this price point, you're in a pretty safe place to experiment with it. So grab a few different colors and give it a try yourself. Now for a touch of luxury, you can upgrade to Friends Extra Fine Merino. A 50 gram ball is going to give you 180 yards of touchably soft super wash merino wool, and they are going to cost you $8.30 a piece, which is a little bit steep compared to what else is available on the market. You do get 49 different colors, which gives you a lot of options for mixing and matching. This yarn is machine washable, but not recommended for the dryer. So you may want to make a swatch and try it out yourself. One of the biggest selling points for me with this yarn is the weight. Sport weight is incredibly versatile, even though for some reason we never talk about it. You can hold one strand by itself for a lightweight flowy fabric, or you can double it up for a heavy worsted or an iron weight. That's a great weight for sweaters that are going to work up super quick. So I'm looking back at my notes from when I was swatching this a little while ago. And my first note says that this yarn is stupid soft, like baby clothes. And I still feel that way. When you're squishing this yarn in the ball, you can feel kind of that soft silkiness. And that's what you get with super wash merino. That super wash treatment is going to take all of that roughness out of the wool. Now, if you have natural wool sensitivities, that's not going to go away. But if you don't have those sensitivities, you'll easily be able to tell the difference between super wash and non-super wash wool. I also love that this yarn is incredibly smooth. There is a very fine halo to it. So you still get a little bit of that wooliness, but it's less
less apparent than the traditional friends wool. And I can't help but compare this yarn to friends wool. So another comparison I drew there is that the colors feel a lot richer and deeper on the superwash base. And again, that probably has to do with that superwash treatment, but it also has to do with a thinner yarn and a tighter twist. As far as actually stitching with this yarn, it is everything that you've come to expect from a superwash merino wool. It is light, it is springy, it is soft, it flows beautifully and the stitches are nice and even. I don't work with sport weight yarns on camera much because they're really tiny and a little fiddly to work with when I'm trying to orient my hands under a camera. But aside from the awkward angle, this was a dream to work with. I really enjoyed this yarn, so I'm giving it two thumbs up. Two of them. One, two. <laughs> And last but not least, we have Friends Kid Silk. So Kid Silk refers to the combination of fibers that are found within this yarn. The first fiber is Kid Mohair that comes from little bitty baby Angora goats. They're so cute, go look them up. And then you have Silk from Silkworms. And what's nice about this yarn is it actually includes a little bit of wool, which is gonna give some strength to the fiber. The resulting yarn is thin, lightweight, and strong with a very subtle sheen. One 25 gram ball holds 218 yards and it's gonna set you back 12 bucks. Now before you scoff at that price, let me tell you something. These are Lux fibers and at $12 a piece, it is very competitive based on what else is available on the market. Hobie has found a way to give you this gorgeous yarn in 30 different shades for a very competitive price. So kudos to them, but don't take my word for it. If you have another company that produces a mohair that you really like, get a skein from them and a skein from Hobie and do your own taste test. So I'll take a look at my notes here and I actually wrote a lot of notes for this mohair. The first one being that I prefer mohair paired with something when I'm doing traditional or Tunisian crochet. I am of the camp that feels like, of course, mohair can be used on its own, but it brings out the best qualities of whatever yarn you pair it with. So for my sample, I used two strands of mohair with one strand of friend's wool. And I have to say, it took all of the scratchiness away from the wool. The plumpness of the wool combined with that gorgeous halo and fuzz from the mohair created a fabric that I absolutely adore and I would wear it in a heartbeat. Now you'll notice that I didn't exactly match the shades here. I wanted to go for kind of a more dappled look. And that's one of the nice things about this friend's collection that you can definitely pair colors directly across the different brands, but it's kind of nice to to mix it up a little bit. Go for like a slightly lighter mohair and a slightly darker color of wool or extra fine merino. And I didn't try it today, but you could very likely pair the mohair with one of the cottons. The more I thought about it, I was like, ooh, mohair and mercerized cotton? I might be into it. And especially as it starts getting a bit cooler, that mohair is going to hold heat close to your body, but that cotton is gonna allow your piece to still have movement and drape. So you can stay warm, but also fabulous and stylish all winter long. Honey, it's the best of both worlds. Other notes that I have here, easy to work with, light and fluffy, makes the wool softer. It's got that fuzzy halo that we expect from mohair. If you're not a halo person, don't even touch this. You're gonna absolutely hate it. But if you want that fuzz, this yarn brings it 110%, especially when you hold two strands together. For the sake of this review, I did try the mohair on its own. It was two strands of mohair that I was doing Tunisian simple stitch with, and it worked up just fine. It was much slower going, of course, to make sure I could hold on to both strands, but a large hook with those two strands, no problem. And it actually got me thinking about maybe holding like four strands of mohair together for like a super fun sweater, which also makes me wonder why aren't there other weights of mohair available? I don't know. I have a lot of questions, but we'll get to that in a minute. Overall, I'm going to give this mohair two thumbs up as well. I think it feels amazing. That addition of a little bit of wool gives it that strength and a little bit of a hardier texture. I'm just team mohair. Some people aren't. I definitely am. And Friends Kids Silk is a great option. So the verdict. How do I feel about the Friends collection from Hobie? I can confidently give this entire collection seven out of 10 hooks. And here's why. On the plus side, you get an impressive collection of yarns in terms of price point, weight, and fiber. It's also a huge plus that you can use these yarns together since the colors match across brands, that's honestly really tricky to find from other larger brands. Stitching with all of these yarns was really nice. There are no fibers that I dislike and they didn't do anything too crazy with like color or texture to really be off-putting. So that's cool. It's a nice basic yarn line. But that kind of contributes to the downside because in a way these yarns are almost painfully basic. There's nothing especially innovative or exciting here. Yes, it does solve the problem of sometimes finding that perfect shade, but if that's not your problem and you're looking for something more exciting, you're not gonna find it in the Friends collection. It would be kind of nice to see in the next iteration of Friends some more adventurous colors or some more exotic textures, even some heavier weights. Of course, there's a time and a place for those basic yarns and you can always combine yarns to make a fabric that's a little bit more exciting, but not everybody is that adventurous. 
Pinterest. Sometimes you have to spoon feed makers and I feel like a company like Hobie knows that. Thankfully, just a quick look around the rest of the site is gonna show you those more interesting yarns. Just within the Friends collection, they wanted to have a good set of basics. Yes, that's wonderful, give us the basics, but if Hobie ever expands the Friends line, I think there's a lot of opportunity to have some more fun. I also took a point off for the price of extra fine merino. There are a lot of sport weight superwash merinos out there and Hobie could stand to be a little bit more competitive price-wise. Overall, I am a fan of Friends. I hope Hobie keeps it around and it's definitely a yarn that I would recommend if you're looking for solid colors for very specific like amigurumi projects or clothing projects. I think there's a lot of opportunity for expansion though and I hope Hobie will consider it in the future. If you're looking for a project to try the yarn from Friends for the first time, I have just the thing for you. This is the Bestie Scarf. Get it, Friends, Bestie? You got it. This scarf is made using one strand of extra fine merino with two strands of kid silk to make the most gorgeous, color blocked, super long, super wide, in the middle of winter scarf you have ever worn. The color inspo was very like gap early 2000s when they were doing that really bright stark color blocking. That's exactly what I went for here because I have multiple coats in different colors and I needed something that would match everything. You can mix and match 10 different colors from the Friends collection to put together into this scarf or if you love this combo you can get this exact kit using the link that's down in my description. And then you can find the Bestie scarf as a free pattern on my blog toicblog.com. That link's in the description too. Now this Tunisian crochet pattern is available for free on my website, toycblog.com. And if you do make one, pretty please tag me at TO Yarn Crafts on Instagram or upload your projects to Ravelry so I can see them. Alrighty, my friends, so those are my thoughts, but I would love to hear yours as well. The comments are open, have at it. Have you tried Friends before? Is it something that you would like to try? And I'd also love to know what questions you still have. And as always, if there are other yarns or crochet gadgets you would like me to try here on the channel, please let me know. I absolutely love getting your recommendations. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye.